So, uh, we're going to see if we can get through this video without any dog eruptions. Mostly because I've got the, win the door open in the office and the dog is ridiculous. That That's really, that's all of it. That's 100% of it. The dog is ridiculous. I, there really is no further explanation needed than that. So, it's Sunday, which means it's time for a stash cast. For those of you who don't know who I am, though, I'm already in Noari. I am your resident witch and creature, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for you through art, intuition, and energy work. And, yeah, that's it. So, on Sundays, for those of you who are new and haven't or haven't seen one for some reason, I like to do a little thing called stash cast. So, stash, when it comes to the art world, is usually materials. Um, for me, because I also collect tools and interesting implements, um, it also includes those things. But the long and short of it is it's beads, buttons, thread, yarn, fabric, sequins, whatever it is you use to make your artwork. Now, one of the reasons why I like to share my stash is because sometimes people don't know what to do with stuff. Um, it's to give you ideas. It's to share some of kind of the behind the scenes and why I pick the things that I do, what I'm going to use them for. Sometimes it's sneak peeks. Sometimes it's little peeks into what I'm working on uh, or things that I may work on in the future. And this is all in the guise of sharing because there are a lot of people who like to uh, guard their secrets as if uh, one, no one else ever has thought of something to do with something. But also, this is how we learn and grow, right? Is by sharing. So it's kind of important to me to make sure that um, I pass on some of this knowledge. And since I don't formally teach at this moment, uh, this is one of those ways that I can do so. So, there we go. Uh, without further ado, what we're going to share today is my crochet thread stash. Now, when I started the draft for this earlier today, I was going to only share a certain size of crochet thread. Um, and I realized that that was silly. And uh, yeah. Now, I do have some other threads that I have shared before, I think. Um, my uh, pearl cotton stash, which is uh, usually a size 5 which is also just a thread size. Uh, I don't know that I've shared my size 20 or 12. And I'm pretty sure I haven't shared my, I think it's 80, that's what it is. Um, those are going to be a little separate because those are actually usually used for other things. Um, you can use any size thread you want for thread, anything that requires a thread. It's just gonna change the finish size, so that's, that's on you. Um, but most of my thread is size 10. Now, when I started digging my thread out, I realized I had like three size, um, I think size three, is it? Let's see. Uh, where is it? Oh, goodness. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, the size three I left out of this. Um, the other sizes, the 80, 20, 12, I'm going to leave it out of this too. But so this is pretty much all of my size 10 um, because it's a, I've, got a, I've got a good amount of it. But um, I didn't want to get into stuff that uh, I didn't have a lot of. But I do want to mention that I do have some other thread sizes. And because I think I've shared the pearl cotton on its own, if I can find the link, remember where it is, I'll link it below and you can check it out. Um, yeah, originally I was going to do all of it and then I changed my mind and then I changed my mind again, basically, because I have three size, I think they're size threes, um, which I don't, I don't really consider that like enough to call stash really. Um, but like I had enough size 10 that I'm like, you know what, we're just going to go with that. Okay. Yeah. Let's just simplify this. So, uh, without further ado. All right, I'm um, looking over at my outline. Yeah, look, look, I almost didn't do this video today. I actually was strongly considering not, mostly because I'm tired and I'd kind of rather be reading right now. 
but it's Sunday and I wanted to start my my uh, week off right and I've had trouble getting to certain tasks like I just don't have the energy to do it at all like ever and that doesn't end so I'm gonna push forth anyway because that's the thing to do so um, let me update this specifically because I wasn't going to do a certain size at first and now I am yeah yay for like changing my mind like four times <sighs> okay so generally speaking crochet thread um, which is this stuff um, a lot of times it's used for doilies obviously it's thread crochet so anything that you definitely want lace weight but maybe don't want like a lace weight yarn this falls in thread the thread falls into the lace category because I mean look at it it's freaking thin it's, it's string it's thread it's thread right um, you can use it for doilies you can use it for tatting you can use it for thread crochet um, pretty much you can use it for whatever the hell you want but doilies are like the big thing um, tatting thread usually is thinner um, you can certainly use 10 and I do have some tatting that I have made out of 10s but a lot of tatting is made out of um, thinner threads than that um, I don't have any of that though because I got my thinner threads for Bob and Lisa actually which you can always yeah so as far as me <laughs> what I use it for um, obviously I use it for tatting um, making bookmarks motifs um, I first actually started using it to make my butterfly tags that I put on all my work um, and I will include a picture below so you can see what I'm talking about because I I only make the butterfly tags to put onto stuff I don't have any like butterflies just like lying around that are that size but also uh, Bob and Lace uses them a lot I have thread crocheted before which I actually used these two colors to crochet something in thread um, but I haven't since actually what I made I'm gonna be honest with you I don't love <laughs> I don't love it at all I actually kind of hate it um, I don't know why either but like you can you can make micro crochet with it um, you can certainly do whatever the hell you want with it but yeah my most of my uses are um, tatting bottom and lace and of course I have some thread crochet I haven't started yet I have thread crocheted actually with um, embroidery floss do not recommend um, yeah mostly <laughs> because it's really slippery and it's a giant pain in the ass to work with. It looks great though. There's like gorgeous vibrant colors but I'll tell you what I don't know that it's worth the frustration that comes with it uh, as uh, as I was like <laughs> cursing the project I was working on. <laughs> I was working on it. Yeah. Oh goodness. So that's it. Well I'll go ahead and parade these out for you because some of these I actually have uses for some of them I don't and then I'll go ahead and drag some of the pieces that I've got done already for you to take a gander at which includes me pausing briefly because I have to go get one of them you know you would think as many times as I forget stuff that I would stop forgetting stuff mm -mm. no that is that's not even really what happens Okay, so first of all, let us let me get all the stuff out here for you to see. We've got a bunch of oh shit mistakes. <laughs> like a bunch of those. That was fun. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to gather all the pieces together that go together. Yeah, my uh, my tatting is all like hanging out in the same freaking place right now. So it's kind of a mess kind of a mess and that I've I've ruined a few things that's always it's always fun and so those pieces that got ruined are actually going to be turned into patches I know that sounds weird doesn't it it does it's okay 
It doesn't have to make sense to you. Don't worry about it. It's everybody. Is it everybody? It is everybody. Okay. Cool. Set that there. You know, was not was not prepared. Of course not. Of course not. I feel like I had more than this, but I gotta tell you, um, I don't know that that's accurate. So, so without further ado, um, let's see what we got here. Let's start. I'll start with all the ones that don't have a use yet. And then we'll go from there. So I got this. This is a donation. Um, this, I think I need to enter this into my stash, but I'm not really sure who made this. I'm pretty sure I can guess because it is definitely size 10 and I've seen this skein this size. Um, but I'm not 100%. Yeah. I'm actually going to have to do some updating of my Ravelry stash so I can, yeah. Yeah, because what I'm probably going to do is send, I'm going to show you pictures of like all of the collected ones individually and then collectively, but not a screenshot of my stash because it's got all the thread in it. So anyway, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I actually do have another thing. Um, I feel like I have some silver of this that I bought for a really specific um, use and I have no idea where it is. Oh, no, it wasn't thread. It was Vanna's Choice Glamour, which is really thin, but is not thread. Okay, never mind. Scratch that <laughs> entirely. So, I've got this. I've got two partial skeins. Um, you know, this is probably just gonna get made into something. I think it'd be really pretty. The Glimmer is from Stellina, which is not overly nice to have on your skin, but you know, whatever. Then this one, this one is another donation. I did not meet. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew there was something I forgot to do. Um, yeah, it's cause I had like something disturbing distract me right before. <sighs> Super fun. Nothing like stuff coming up that you can't do anything about. That's like my favorite. So this is probably, I don't know, this is probably just going to be something random too. Mostly because I don't work with variegated yarns terribly, like an off, often a lot when it comes to like the butterfly tags, but like white and purple and black are the colors that I use for my brand. So it was a consideration briefly, but because it's variegated, it's going to look weird. So I decided against that. And I got this red like whoa red it looks much brighter on camera than it does in person um i don't have any flints for that either this this i i don't actually like this color this is a hideous color i did start using it as a tester um because i wanted to use these really really tiny needles i uh knitting needles i got so that's what that little business right here is about um and it was just, this was just meant to be a swatch because I wanted to know how, I think it was like 30 some stitches. I wanted to have an approximation of like how big this was going to be because I have this kooky idea to make something miniature by way of thread and then oversized by way of, uh, I'm going to use size six yarn instead of seven just because uh, the problem with the seven yarn one, the yardage on jumbo yarn is really low. Uh, on top of that, it's also really expensive and it, it would be kind of completely and utterly impractical <laughs> to try and make this thing giant. Like it would, it would make more sense to use fucking rope. Okay. Really? Um, it's just a consideration now that I think about it. Anyway, anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, let's see. Who else doesn't have purpose? This doesn't have a purpose. I originally got this one and this one together. So these are not crochet cotton. These are, I mean, they are crochet cotton. They're a different brand. Most of this is Aunt Lydia's. These are DMC's. Uh, I don't recall what it is, but some Lydia's. This is actually just for me. I love teal. So that's mine. I don't know what I thought I was going to do with this yellow. Oh, 
I might know. I might not because I don't have any blue in that color. Um, I have a forget me not project that I wanted to do, and so I got a, I've got a yellow and a blue, and the size three, but I've only got this yellow. So you know, I'm not I'm not sure that I had a purpose for this. Maybe. Um, I definitely can tell you that it's probably going to come up in my Marigold project. <sighs> um, yeah. Right now all the Marigolds are orange and red, but Marigolds are, I mean, they're a couple of colors, but they also come in yellow. Uh, and Calendula is, or Calendula, however the fuck you want to say it. Also, it's in the Marigold family, and it's, like, yellow. So, maybe that'll go with those. I don't know. This, this one, this one, this one, and, of course, the white. These are my brand colors. So, all shades of purple, pretty much. I'm really indiscriminate. Um, I like the darker shade myself, but this is Orchid. That works, too. I make all of my butterfly tags out of these colors. Um, I started off with the darker purple first, um, as you could tell because it's open and the lighter purple isn't. The lighter purple is the latest uh, addition that I actually, I don't think I've used on anything yet. And I pick my tags based on what makes sense for the color of the item. So like if black or white goes with it, then I go with that. If um, the object is black, then I'm definitely not going to go with black as the tag. Um, it'll be white or it'll be purple. Whichever one works best. Uh, okay. This is dangerous because there's stuff hanging from it. But these are the marigolds. Collectively, it's going to be these eventually. Um, I actually should make that are all three colors. Why is this complicating itself? This was going to be such a simple project. No, now it's not. Great. Great. It's all your fault. That's how this works. Start getting, like, ideas while I'm talking about other stuff. And then it just goes kind of fucking down the, downhill from there. Um, then I've got this. This is also a donation. And just let me, let me just throw stuff on the floor. That's cool. Um, this is a donation, so is this, and so I've got some pieces that are these two colors work together. But then, these are the last two, uh, threads that I bought. Um, I bought this actually, this is what I was looking for. I knew that there was a rainbow thread, and I specifically wanted rainbow because I was going to do a rainbow project, or several, actually. Um, and then I saw this when I was there, and I was like, those are like, that's like a pastel rainbow. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So... That, by the way, is some thread crochet. You can see that. Giant doily! Okay. Now these two have to go together, because they're linked. Yeah, there's a there's a shuttle heading in there. So! <laughs> okay. Um, here's some of what I started off with. This is a little flower motif. Um... I don't know if this has a name. Like the the marigolds in the same book, and it has a name. But this might just be a six petal flower. So this is one of the ones I made. Um, I actually took the other uh, two I made and added it to this bag, which I practiced my boxing corners. Did a terrible job, by the way. This side's perfect, so you can see the seam goes here. This one, the seam is here, and the seam is there. The seams are supposed to line up. They don't. That's my fault, though. I was, I was tired. But, um, yeah, I actually cut off, I cut way more off of this bag than I meant to. So now the bag, for the purposes I had it, is utterly useless. But I did get to practice my boxing corners, so there's that. And then here is one of the, the rainbows with, uh, it's like an ivory color. Which I think so. It's all right. The infamous marigold. So we've got two. I'm going to make two more. Um, this is one that met its demise. 
I started pulling prematurely on the ring and destroyed it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to snip these ends off. And this is just going to turn into decoration on something. That's it. That's it. Same thing, actually, with this one. I pulled too hard and I jacked up the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this as decoration. Nobody will know. I can cover, I'll cover the end right there. And you'll never know that it was a giant mistake. This is what I was supposed to be doing. Um, I decided that I would make a longer one. It did not work out. And so that's what happened there. But this is actually a bookmark that needs to be stiffened. And then this, this, the gayest heart you're ever going to see. I love this thing. Um, I'm calling it queer love because it's rainbows. It just so happens to be pride month too, but that I made this like ages ago. Uh, yeah, this is the first one I actually have like, so the rings all started one color scheme and the chains start in the other and they go opposite, which I thought was really neat. And it was very interesting seeing how they would unfold, but this is a bark and it's stiff, which is why it's not doing like this. But that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much that's all of it. Oh, that's all my notes. That's all my notes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Oh, let's wrap this bad boy up, right? Right. As always, uh, if you'd like to see static pictures of all of the stuff, then you can scroll into the post below. If you're watching this on YouTube, you hit the link at the very top and it'll send you over to Patreon. The public, the post is public, so anybody can see it. You don't have to be um, a patron to see it. Yay! Um, excite. And uh, actually I actually have to take pictures of all these. I don't have to take pictures of any of this stuff. So pictures will happen after we're done with this video before I forget again. Oh, that being said, my question for you today is, do you have any crochet thread, specifically size 10, but you know, any thread will do, in your stash? Um, if so, why'd you get it? What have you been using it for? What colors do you have? What made you buy it to begin with? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. You can drop me a comment in the box below. I always read all the comments and I'm very, very excited to hear from y'all. So please share. Uh, other than that, um, I'm going to put links to all the brands here. Um, I know I've got Aunt Lydia's and I know I've got some like DMC, it's like crochet traditions, I think is what it's called. Those will be linked, um, below. If I can find the pearl cotton, uh, video I did, I will also link that, but I'm not sure that I did it. I might have just meant to because that's something that happens. Super awesome. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, uh, as always, you can find me at my websites below, Arudia's Hands and Danae's Divine, as well as all of my active social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where I like to hang out the most. And because you got here, because you stayed till the end of the video, um, tomorrow's Monday, Monday motivation. Hopefully we're going to be motivated. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying real hard to like stay with it. Um, everything is just on fire pretty much. And it is making it hard to like even want to exist really much less to actually exist. So I'm not surprised that I don't have the energy for anything that I deem extra, which is at this point, it's, it's kind of everything, which is really sad, really sad, but say la vie, right? Yeah. So, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for being a subscriber. If you aren't a subscriber, make sure that you like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And to all my Patreon people, thank you for being a patron. And hey, if you're on YouTube, head over to Patreon and consider becoming a patron. Um, patronage there helps me continue to make free videos for everybody. 
and share more things like this and patrons get a few extra perks that I don't give out to anybody else so totally worth it and like you get like way more dibs on my time over there too and I'm, I try to do like really high touch over there that's the only space I do that pretty much yeah yeah so until tomorrow uh, I hope that you had a lovely and wonderful weekend and that it was peaceful restful whatever it needed to be for you um, and I will see you bright eyed and bushy tailed on Monday hopefully hopefully bye sweetlings <laughs>